podcast. If you are someone who having a low end system in 2023, enjoying most of the gaming is really hard due to the high minimum system requirements of most games. So I would say browser games are really good alternative, especially if you want to just have a casual fun time without spending any money or spending time downloading the game. Just enjoy the game with browser is much more convenient. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to share some of my personal favorite browser games with you guys, which I think you should definitely try out in 2023. And you guys know browser games are completely free and you don't have to download or anything. All you need is your web browser. So without further ado guys, let's get right into it. All right, first of all, we got a game called Tanuki Sunset. It's a pretty chill arcade style longboarding game where you have to control a raccoon on a longboard and avoid traffic at all costs. And also along the way, you can collect those cheese pieces, which will give you more points. I would say the controls are very easy, but you have to learn some of the tricks like to drift and do some freestyle tricks along the way, which is kind of difficult and you will fail a lot. But when you got nothing to do, just boot up this game on your browser and just give it a try. It's a super chill game. All right, next up, we got a pretty cool third person shooting game called Horde Killer, which is definitely inspired by the AAA title Days Gone. This game is pretty basic and easy. There's a total of 100 zombies just following around the map. All you gotta do is use your weapon arsenal and be creative with it and just take down them as quickly as you can. You will have access to various types of weapons like assault rifles, shotguns, grenade pistols, and also miniguns and RPGs, which is pretty cool. It's another fun, addictive game to try out, especially when you have a free time. Alright, next up we have a pretty cool browser game for those who like to play racing slash destruction type of games. And this is called Burning Rubber X5. It's a vehicular combat style of a racing game with a lot of destruction and you can customize your vehicle with different type of weapons attached to it. And I would say the gameplay and the graphics looks pretty impressive, especially considering this is a browser game. Alright, next up we got a pretty cool casual browser game called Defuse the Bomb. It's a very simple and fun puzzle game where your objective is to defuse the bomb within the given time period. I would say the starting few levels are very easy but when you're leveling up, unlocking more levels, the game getting a little bit more difficult and challenging but nevertheless it's one of my favorite casual games to play on a browser. Alright, next up we got Time Shooter 2. As the name suggests, it's a time shooter which is more like a slow motion type of a shooting game and I absolutely love it. Even though it's a browser game, I would say it's a pretty unique one. In this game, if you move quickly, all the environment around you is going to move as well and if you stop, everything is going back to slow motion. Which makes the game a little bit more challenging especially when the enemies have guns on their hands and you have to pick up different weapons around you and also be creative with your environment and taking down all the enemies in a certain given level which unlocks the next tier. Pretty cool and unique shooting game definitely give it a try all right guys when you're talking about browser game there are certain games that are absolute classic and nostalgic and this is one of them and this is the super mario bros the original game from nintendo and most of these old mario classic games are available right now as browser games and it's absolutely fun to play and make me feel like a kid again especially with those original blocky graphics and also the sound effects definitely make us feel like we want to go back in time <laughs> Alright, next up we got Ev.io. It's another popular browser game. It's more like a casual arcade arena style first person shooter type of a game. I would say a little bit similar to the games like Halo and Splitgate but not nearly as complex as those games. It's just a fun casual first person shooter with very fast paced movement and I would say decent gunplay as well. Alright, next up we got Assault Bots. It's probably the most graphically demanding browser game that we have in today's list. And it's a casual arena style vehicular combat game with a little bit more sci-fi elements attached to it as well. And just by looking at the gameplay and the graphics, I would say the game is really impressed me. And I'm not gonna lie guys, this game is quite addictive to play. And overall it's a very solid browser game. And you can play multiplayer and also you can play single player with bots, which is also another pretty cool feature. Mm. 
All right, next up we got a game called Oops No Break, which is more of a arcade style platformer game where you have to drive a vehicle to the end of the platform. But the most challenging part is the vehicle doesn't have any brakes. It is definitely not as easy as it looks. Most of the time it's really hard to handle the vehicle, which makes the game even more challenging. I highly recommend you guys to try the game out, especially if you're into these type of puzzle platformer games. Alright, next up at number one spot, we got Venture.io. It's probably one of my favorite browser FPS games to play right now. And I'm not gonna lie, the game is very comprehensive and packed with a lot of cool features. It's a very simple arena style first person shooter where you have to select different agents with different set of abilities. And the game also let you play a bunch of game modes like team death matches, sniper only game modes, and also more of a capture the flag type of game mode as well. The movement, gunplay, and the graphics are pretty solid as a browser game. It's a pretty solid first person shooter are definitely worth trying out especially if you have a free time Well, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found some great, fun, free-to-play browser games to enjoy. Especially if you have a low-end system, these games would be ideal to play because you only need your web browser. And there are millions of browser games out there on the internet. And these are some of my personal favorite games. And if you have any suggestions, definitely let us know down in the comment section as well. And if you're someone who really enjoy browser games, I made a video regarding top 50 browser games last year. And that's a big collection of browser games. You might pick up some unique and awesome games there as well so guys if you enjoyed the video as always please make sure to drop a like and also hit the subscribe button because we cover a lot of free to play games and these type of browser games as well i catch you guys soon in my next video stay safe